Today I'm going to cover the skull. It's easier if I use the colored skull first so that you can see the different bones a little bit more clearly and then I'll show you the white skull. Um, this is an anterior view and this is a lateral view and an inferior view. You will see all photographs on your tests at some point and in your um, class. So all of the skull bones are divided into two main regions. One, the first that I'm going to go over is the cranium. So the cranium <coughs> is what houses the brain and then the face, which you know what the face is. So I shouldn't have to explain that. The the uh, cranial bone at the front of the skull is called the frontal bone. And then on the sides here, and on the other side here, are the parietal bones. And if you look at a superior view of the skull, you can see that there's a suture that separates the two parietal bones and a suture that separates the parietal bones from the frontal bone and a suture that <clears throat> separates the parietal bones from the occipital bone. The occipital bone is at the base of the skull. See this dark green, my thumb is pointing to the occipital bone. Um, so those are the cranial bones. And then I just want to repeat myself what a suture is. So a suture is um, this jagged line between the cranial bones. Uh, it's a type of joint. A joint is also known as an articulation. You'll have to know that for this chapter as well. And uh, a joint is where bones come together. So this is a joint and it is called a suture. So all of these squiggly, jagged lines um, that separate cranial bones are called sutures. Okay, I have to take my sweatshirt off. Now I'm going to go over, oh no, I'm not done yet. So the temporal bones are the fourth and final cranial bone, my fault. So frontal, parietal, temporal, occipital. There's one occipital bone, not two, not a right and a left. You can see this big hole here for the spinal cord to pass through. That is called the foramen magnum. On the temporal bone, there's a hole here for our ears called the external auditory canal. And those are the only features of the bones that you need to know. Um, otherwise, you just need to know the bones, not the features on the bones. And your book goes over a lot more material than you need to know. So pay attention to the list that is in your lab manual and also in Top Hat or um, the paper manual if you have that. Um, depending on when you're watching this video. And the facial bones are the nasal bones. There are two. The maxilla is the upper jaw bone. The mandible is the only movable bone in the skull, and it is the lower jaw bone. They both have teeth in them. And zygomatic um, bones are the cheekbones. So you have four in the cranium that you have to know and four in the face that you have to know. Nasal, maxilla, zygomatic, mandible with no features that you have to know, and then frontal, parietal, temporal, occipital, and you have to know the external auditory canal and the foramen magnum. 